Well, hello everyone. This is Susan for SLC Aquatics. Welcoming you to the live stream tonight. Susan for SLC Aquatics. I hope that you're having a great, I said a great Tuesday. <laughs> All righty, we got Fitch Tropic, Susie, hey Jason, we got Michael, hello Susan, how has your day been? Michael, my day has been very, very long and exciting. We have Freshwater Fish Freaks, Michael in the house, checking in early, yes you did. Um, We got Sherry Sweeney in the house, hello, we've got PM. P-E-M-G, Hustle Woman Aquatics. Hello, everyone. Hello, Yolanda. We got Chris Fishroom. We got uh, the Bearded Fish Keeper. Hello, Kevin. How are you doing? Am I calling you by the right name? Um, Mario Alves Jr. is in the house. Michael says, my, fit, my wife just made me a burrito. It doesn't get much better than that. All right. Even though this is Taco Tuesday and anything with the soft shell is a burrito. So if it's a burrito, it's a burrito. Heather Verona Aquatics is in the house. Hello, Heather. It's Kyle. Okay, Kyle, forgive me. I knew it started with a K. Kyle, the bearded fish keeper. Life with Pet Sheila is in the house. Hello. Happy birthday. Can't stay long, but wanted to stop by. Thank you so much. I started watching your video the other day uh, about, uh, I guess it was today, about why we do water changes, etc. But I did get pulled away. So I'm going to go back and finish watching it. So if y'all haven't watched it, go check out Life with Pets video that was posted today. <laughs> Michael Aquarium says Wednesday here, 12.03 a.m. Well, Michael, it's just barely Wednesday, but happy Wednesday to you. <laughs> yes, you see my happy birthday balloon behind me that my, my wonderful hubby gave me on Saturday. I think that was my birthday. Yes. And he also brought in some delicious baby bites from the uh, pastry that were delicious and they didn't last 24 hours. I don't think because I have no control with sweets. <laughs> Gina, Gina Tucker's in the house. Hey baby, how you doing? Awesome. We have a surprise for you today, Gina. <laughs> I'm going to wait for some more folks. We got 13 viewing. All right. Everyone, don't forget to click the like button. Also, share this on social media and also in email. Spread the word. Let everybody know that we're live and we want them to come in and join the party. Now, this is not a birthday bash. We had that Saturday. <laughs> yes, Gina, I have something up my sleeve. <laughs> Michael says, thank you very much. Happy birthday. Thank you, Michael. Um, uh, 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 uh. What else? What else? What else? Okay. I didn't get a nap today. So the old noggin is not fresh. But if someone would go contact Chris Lawson, of multi tank addictions, I would appreciate it very much. Let him know Susie Q is live. Um, I'm going to try to set something up here and see if I can share it on screen. Let's see. Oh, y'all bear with me. 
I had a uh, a conference. I had a conference meeting today that ran two hours, so I'm kind of a little frazzled. I'm going to try to screen share right now. Okay. If you're looking at the screen right now, you should be seeing Gina Tucker Aquarium's website. So, oh no, the evil twin Buford is in the house. All right, Buford, scat and let Michael join in and you can catch the replay. Eric Herbert is in Hebert is in the house. Hello, Eric. Good to have you join us this evening. Yeah, I went through a little lull right there. And um I'm hoping that everyone can see Gina's channel. Can you? Can you give me a thumbs up or type Gina, 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 Gina. Michael says, I see it. Okay. All right. Um, everyone in the chat may know and they may not know. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you, Eric. Mary Beth. Thank you. Mary Beth, she typed Gina. Mary Beth, I do hope and pray that you're feeling better, dear. Mm. Gina, 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 Gina. <laughs> like Clark Gable and Judy, 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 Judy. <laughs> Just letting you know, now my guppy's doing okay. Okay, season. Corona Ken's in the house. I finally made a live stream yay ken welcome in the house heather says i'm sick and had a bad headache need to go lay down we'll watch the replay have a good night yes heather hope and pray that you get better and feel better soon okay gina um i'm also going to pull up something on facebook that um, is going on, and I hope everyone can read this where my mouse is. Hello, hashtag fish fam. I'm coming to you for a little financial help for Gina Tucker Aquariums. She is on YouTube, and this is the link to her YouTube channel. Some of us want to help her get a new phone since her phone fell in the aquarium while filming. Yikes. Please contact Chris Lawson to send funds, a dollar or five dollars or whatever you can do. I will update this post with his PayPal link if you can help and would like to help her so she can film her videos again. And I want to say thank you. Hashtag fish fam love. Hashtag fish fam mom love. And there is one comment. And that comment is pay Christopher Lawson using PayPal me. And that is his link, which I'm clicking on right now, which I'm going to share in the chat. So if any of the fish fam community would like to help and can help, I would like you to. Um, also, uh, go and help. We're not going to um, run this very long. We're just going to try to help 
raise some funds for her to help her pay off her phone so that um, she can get a new phone and so that uh, she'll be able to film again. So here I am. That link that I just posted, hello Vals, the link that I just posted, um, we are helping Gina Tucker by donating at Chris's PayPal account. And um, he's going to get funds to Gina to help her pay off her phone so that she can get her new phone. She dropped her phone in the water twice and she's having problems with it focusing. And um, she's not been able to videotape much lately. So um, I will go back to the uh, SLC Aquatics group again, Vals, on uh, Facebook. I have pinned a post asking the fish fam if they could donate a dollar or five dollars to um this link this is chris's paypal me multi-tank edition chris lawson send money to his paypal account hello flynn welcome and uh, we want to help gina replace her phone so she can get back into making videos and build her channel also i'm going to go back to her channel and share it again on um, on the screen here so that I can um, hope y'all are seeing it again and as you see she has 269 subscribers so I am promoting her channel tonight and I'm not going to eat anything weird like Rick's been doing on um, Mr. Science Geek. I'm just going to be fish fam mom. I get an error message on the link above. We'll try Facebook later tonight. Okay, dear. Thank you. Let's try that again. Looks like the link you're looking for doesn't exist yet, or maybe it's a typo. Okie dokie. I know I was there just a minute ago. There it is. And I'll copy this. And it's possible... Um, Yeah, it's possible that these links, you know, YouTube went through a change in the chat. So I may have clicked something that disabled the URLs, but I'm not sure. Susan, sorry, it's off subject. Just wanted to know if you have to have an air stone for shrimp. It is suggested to have an air, air stone or um, very little current um and i'm not a perfect um i'm not an expert on raising shrimp so vows if you know how to reach um if anybody else in the chat can help go ahead and answer that question i have seen these setups and uh, for shrimp and I think substrate, light, uh, temperature, perfect temperature for caradina shrimp is um, around 72 degrees for breeding. But I didn't hear Rob say anything at Flip Aquatics about an air stone. Because I do think he has that... Um, matte filter in most of his tanks and that causes quite a little flow paypal has been having that problem a lot eric said you just have to click on it three or four times before it goes through yeah i've got it open on my screen right now and that's why i did the um screen share.
Turbo fish is in the house. Have to know. Suggested as with any aquarium, the surface disruption is key to moving bacteria versus allowing it to stabilize. Yeah, um, the reason for having uh, movement in the water is to have um, something to break the surface of the water to uh, allow exchanges of gases that build up in the tank, the carbon dioxide and the oxygen exchange. Uh, Michael says, not an expert on shrimp. I have shrimp. I have four ghost shrimp because they're all I could find and they were cheap, but they're living just fine without an air stone. Okay. Thanks, Turbo, and thanks, uh, Freshwater Fish Freaks. Um, Turbo Fish got four tanks with shrimp, and I'm learning all I can too. Great. I know if you really do want to know um, Val's, contact Rob at Flip Aquatics. And um, he's our shrimp guy and even L.R. Bretts, Lucas at L.R. Bretts. H.C. Aqua, hello. Good to have you in the house. River Life, hello, Rank. Good to have you. Thank you for my birthday. Uh, happy birthday wish. Thank you very much. Those that just came in, we want to uh, let you know that we're doing a little fundraiser for Gina Tucker Aquariums and also trying to build her um, her subs up to um, up to 300. Let's get her to 300, you guys. <clears throat> She's got 269 right now. And I'm going to share her uh, channel link on SLC Aquatics. There's the uh, message that I wrote in my group saying, hello, fish fam. I'm coming to you for a little financial help for Gina Tucker Aquariums. And she is on YouTube. Some of us want to help her with a new phone since her phone fell in the aquarium while filming. Yikes. Please contact Chris Lawson to send funds, a dollar, five dollars, or whatever you can if you are able to. I will update his post with his PayPal link. And if you can help her uh, so she can get back to filming and creating videos on her YouTube channel. She's not on Facebook. So I did this on Facebook on my SLC Aquatics group. And then here is PayPal Christopher Lawson using paypalme.com. And that is HTTPS colon front slash front forward slash forward slash www.paypal.me forward slash capital M capital T capital A capital C little H little R little I little S and um, help us. We're trying to raise around $200 to help her pay off her phone so that she can get a new phone. And I am trying to post her link and uh, say, let's get her to 300 subs. Go. <laughs> Gina, that's because we love you. She is the aunt of Fish Fam. So we want to um, let her know how much we love her and miss her making um, videos on her channel. And um, so if you can help, no obligation. Please don't feel bad if you can't. Just pray for those of us that can that we'll be able to raise that $200 for her to get her back into filming and making creations in her YouTube channel. I'm trying to read the chat. Michael Aquarium says, I've been landscaping my aquarium tank with uh, plants. They're not really real. Just letting you know, Susan, and everybody out there, honestly, live screen, screening. Okay. Thank you, Michael. Chris is in the house. Hello, Chris. Multi-tank addictions. Um, we just shared the post that I posted on uh, Facebook last night in the group, and I shared with you. I shared your PayPal me link several times, so I'm going to uh, share it again in the in the chat so that everyone that can 
will go and be able to donate towards Gina's phone. E Money Cichlids, New York City. Squad up. Hello, love is love always. All right, sweetheart. Good to have you in the house. <clears throat> um, Turbofish says, rule of thirds. Michael, just focus on that. Aquascaping is aquascaping real or fake materials. That's true, Turbo. Thank you so much for encouraging him on that. Squad. <laughs> River Life saying hello to Michael Aquarium. Angelo's fish tanks in the house. Hello, Angelo, my buddy from Canada. Good evening, everyone. I'm just dropping in to say hi and to drop a like. Sorry I had to work late. Just got home. I won't be able to stay. Everyone have a wonderful night. Much love. Thank you, Angelo. And if you can watch the replay later, we are taking up funds to help Gina. Uh, Tucker Aquariums uh, pay off her phone so she can get her a new phone since she's dropped it in the water several times and it's uh, having problems focusing and that's why she hasn't been creating video content for her YouTube channel. So we want to help her with that and so she can get back on board on creating and we also want to share her link to her channel so that she can uh, get to 300 pretty soon. She's not far from it. She's got uh, 269 subs. So somebody do the math for me. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Chris is talking to Gina. How are you doing, love? Hope you're having a great day. Oh, she said hi to him first. <laughs> Gina said, thanks, Susan. I am humbled. Girl, you're a humble girl anyway. And that's hashtag fish fam aunt, Auntie Gina, or Aunt Gina, however you all want to say it. Eric says, e money. I finally started my fish tank, first tank, and went with jewel cichlids. Aren't you proud? I know they're beautiful. Um, <laughs> okay, River Life says, I love you guys. Got to run. Thank you, Rank, for coming by. Uh, this is a Q&A also. Fish room chat tonight. Uh, we had a question about whether airstone was required for shrimp. And it's not required, but just something that will cause uh, the surface of the water to be moving for the proper air exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide and other gases that build up in the aquarium. Mary Beth said 31. Okay, she's 31 from uh, 300 subs. So let's push her channel. Share it on your social media, Twitter, uh, Instagram, and let's uh, invite people to her channel so they will sub her, and let's get her to that 300 subs. Multitank says, doing good. Just got my 55-gallon set up. So my flower horn yogurt has a new home. Yay! <laughs> yogurt. <laughs> I remember you were talking about uh, how you were going to, how you wanted to name her something. And now, anyway, she's yogurt. <laughs> 29 away. All right. We got a couple more subs there, Gina. Michael says, I need 300 so I can do my giveaway. Yes, help freshwater fish freaks out too, guys, to get into 300. So what are you at right now, Michael? Um, I'm going to run over there and look right quick. Michael is at 248. So push, push, push. And uh, I don't know how the bell got unsubscribed. That is crazy. But anyway, Michael at Fishwater Fish Freak, Freshwater Fish Freak, is at 248. Gina is at 269. So they have a race right now for 300 subs, and let's help them get there. Um, 249, 248. <laughs> Tell your uh, evil twin to uh, quit playing with the sub count. All good channels, Sherry said. Yes, yeah, Cecilia says, don't have one, but on speaker. Okay. Um, thank you, Cecilia. 
Thank you, sweetheart. And please drive safely while you're listening to us. Eric said they're only about two inches, so the colors aren't as bright yet. But after a week, my tank finally cleared up and finished cycling. Found out quick I wasn't supposed to feed twice a day. LOL. Yeah, when you first introduce those fish, feeding them once a day along with their waste, builds up ammonia and nitrites really fast in the water so i know eric you found out the hard way but you still found out and a lot of us find out the hard way because i lost i bought three guppies when i first was cycling my tank and i lost one run one after the other down i think the last one that was living was the one that was the most aggressive and then i found out that she was the most aggressive because of the high ammonia count so after I got it cycled, I added a couple more guppies and then everybody did well and started producing for me and having babies because I started with pregnant females and um, watched, watched all of their youngins grow out. Um, Michael said Sunday he got to 80. Well, all right, let's get Michael to 100. Michael Aquarium. I'm subbed each other. Uh, multi tank addiction says I'm at 219. LOL. I'll race too. Yes. We'll put all of these guys in the race. Mary Beth says I'm at, uh, at 249. Oh my goodness. We've got to share these channels, everyone. Put the word out. We got 18 viewing. How many likes do we have? Uh, I'll have to scroll down. We got 15 likes, 19 watching. All right. Those that just joined us, we are having fun. We're challenging everyone to help these channel, small channels under 300 to get to 300. Multi-tank addictions, 219. We got Gina Tucker at 269. We have Freshwater Fish Freaks at 249. We've got Mary Beth at 249. <laughs> Michael says, darn that, Buford. Buford! That is too funny. Yes, ammonia makes me aggressive too. <laughs> Woo! Not in there. Eric says, the cichlids were actually really active and it didn't phase them much. I'm debating on switching from pellets to live food. Yeah, you could still do um, a variety there, Eric, because if you keep them on live food, they're going to be hard to go back to the pellets. So um, live food is good as a treat, but not as I wouldn't feed them daily uh, live food because they don't get a full balance. The pellets also has their vegetables in there and other minerals that they need in their diet. Happy late birthday, love. Thank you, E-Money Cichlids, New York City. Thank you very much. Mary Beth says, 19 watching, 19 thumbs up. No, I don't have 249. Oh, I was telling fresh. <laughs> okay, Mary Beth. Duh. Let me look at your channel. Mary Beth, let's help her. She's at 71. Let's get her to 100. Michael Aquarium has 80. Let's get him to 100. Let's get to these milestones, okay? I'm with you now, Mary Beth. <laughs> so I got to get um, Gina Tucker back. Where are you, Gina? So we're doing a fundraiser for Gina Tucker Aquariums, and you can send money to Multi Tank Addictions. Um, PayPal account, and we're trying to raise uh, two hundred dollars for her so that she can pay off her phone that has been washed in the uh, tanks a couple times or in the buckets a couple times during water changes. Um, everybody subbing one another, beautiful. There's. Chris posting his PayPal account to help Gina Tucker get her broken phone replaced. I'm putting 50. Need 15 people to do $10 each. And I'm waiting for my money transfer, Chris, because I'm going to put uh, $10 on it as well. 
Michael says, thank you very much, freshwater fish. Eric says, ah, okay. I didn't think about that. They don't like the pellets very much at all. So that was the only reason I was debating it. Yeah, Eric, at first when fish are finicky about what you're feeding them, um, you can try a different uh, pellet or a different flake food. But when they get hungry enough, believe me, they will eat something. And leave the yeah leave the fresh uh, the live foods as treats. Um, I have to put the pellets in front of the filter. Yeah, because they're cichlids are hunters, and so they have to have a moving object, you know, and it stimulates the hunt that's in the cichlid for them to go after their food. Uh, my angelfish though, they're they're trained to eat from the surface, so when I put food in. Uh, flakes in they go right for it and they will eat the food out of the water column but if i have any kind of pellet that sinks or partially sinks they hardly ever go after it so each one of your fish may have a different personality so that the water pushes the pellets down and then they'll eat okay thank you for those who subbed mary beth said and e-money says great people Love is love, always squad up. <laughs> All right, sweetheart. But um, on the Q and A, is there any more questions that y'all want to put put out tonight? Um, do you have any more questions about things in your fish room? In my fish room, over here to my right, my left depends on how you look. Over here is my five gallon tank with my v blue veil tail uh, beta in there it has driftwood with an enormous mother plant anubias i have two auto sinkless in there what is the big white box behind me susan Ooh, mary beth wants to see what's in the box i am looking for a my husband and I have talked about it, but I think I'm going to go with a 29 tall aquarium that is 30 inches long or in width. And this light my son-in-law gave to me, and it is a 24-hour light system. It gives you daylight. It gives you, um, it gives you sunrise. It gives you daylight. It gives you moonlight. And it um, all automatically sequences it itself. And does the fade in and the fade out? I wished I had an aquarium to show it to you. Um, the sad, it's not sad. The thing of it is, I have some substrate coming to me that's been donated to me. The light was donated to me. I want to put behind me a show tank, and I'm going to start purchasing different community fish, and I want to put live plants in there. Uh, I want to put I want to put shrimp, but if the fish that I select eat shrimp, I'm not going to go with shrimp. So my question to you guys is, if I am adding fish to a new aquarium, and I will seed it with uh, seeded media to help cycle it quickly. I know to add it, add some, uh, you know, a few fish at a time. Yeah, Jason says plant it. I'm going to go plant it. Um, I also, let me see what Gina says. I, I'll get back with you, Mary Beth. It's a light system and I'll show it to you. It's heavy. Um, I have a question. I use Rapashi to feed my snails. I want to add calcium. Can I use the powdered calcium that is used for reptiles and mix it in? Thanks. That's a good question. Because I use calcium that is used for buffering saltwater aquariums. But I just put trace amounts in. Um, I don't know what's in the calcium for reptiles. But any form of calcium, I would suggest put a little bit in trace amounts at a time. And check your uh, KH and GH after a while and see how it's doing. Michael says, I got a light like that from Fluval. I put it on the TV tank, and wow, what a difference. 
Yes, I know. Michael won the $2,500 Fluval shopping spree before Christmas. You all need to go check out his video. Man, did he get a wonderful, wonderful bounty from Fluval. I was jelly. Susan, that's a good enough answer. No, Mary Beth, I don't mind because this is part of um, my birthday project that I am doing. New England Endler is in the house. Hello, New England Endler. Uh, would a little hydrogen peroxide in the water help a barb with a red bump sore? Or should I try a salt dip? And should I get a med? I wouldn't use hydrogen peroxide because it will burn. And if he has a red bump or a sore, it's already inflamed. So if you could do a salt dip, I would first do a salt dip. And then um, you can check illnesses on the web. There is a website that you can go to to help diagnose uh, illnesses in your fish. Then it would suggest how to treat it and what meds that you might want to put in the tank. And uh, you don't know New England if it was due to a fight or anything like that with other fish. So watch the other fish because when one gets wounded, Sometimes the aggression gets worse and they end up, you know, attacking the weaker fish. So watch that aggression in the tank as well. Um, Eric said the special fish store here said to add seed bacteria to speed it up. But that stuff was expensive there and the pet store doesn't sell it. Yeah, seeded bacteria. Um, if you had other aquariums already with sponge filters or filter floss or something like that but if it's a new tank set up and you can't find a friend you know that can help seed it i did the um the api process with um stress coat api stress coat and then the quick start and within three days, my tank was um, partially, it had low, low ammonia and low uh, nitrates, nitrates. And I only added three cheap fish, which were guppies. They were $1.59 a fish. And I added them and I did my daily water changes and I tested my water every day for about three or four days until I saw nitrates starting. Sherry says it depends on how much you make. I put in a tablespoon because I was making it for the snails only, but the guppies were picking on it. So it works. I give it to them every other night. Thank you, Sherry. Yeah, I don't put my repashi in every day. I put it in, you know, once a week as a treat. Uh, just pour some milk in the water. I hear it's full of calcium. Get out, Buford. <laughs> Don't listen to Buford, everybody. Okie dokie. This, um, these lights are 10,000 K on um let's see ten thousand K daylight and sixty five watt ultra actinic actinic which is for the moonlight and um these are the brackets that you actually sit the uh the tank on the tank, I mean the light on the tank. And then it has three power cords. All right. One is the main power cord. One goes to the the 10,000 K uh, lights and the actinic lights the 65k so here's what that big baby looks like okay 
That's the outside cover made out of some kind of light steel. And then here's where the bulbs look like. Okay. There's a fan on either end for cooling to keep the lights from overheating. And um, I believe this end is the on off switches right here and right here. So this retails for over $600. And my son in law got it for $259.99 10 plus years ago. So I'm excited. I want a nice aquarium to put on it right here behind me. And that will be my show tank. Believe me, I thought about putting a couple goldfish in the tank just for their color and their fins, but I haven't made up my mind. Finner Games Vlogs. Hello, dear. Good to see you. Everybody, congratulate Finner Games Vlogs. He made 5,000 views. And I believe, are you coming up on, on 300 subs? Let me see what he's got. He's got 484 subs. He's coming up on 500. And he does have a couple, um, a couple fish videos up. And I uh, want to encourage him. All right. Wow. Cool lights. Wait, let me bring my fish channel here. <laughs> hello. 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 Where did I leave off? My baby snails are all over it. Oh, yeah. Baby snails love Rapashi. Susan, my female guppy is still fat, had not babies. Yet I told you last week, this week, still the same. Well, um, just uh, keep your water changed. You can. Add a little protein to the tank by feeding them some um, brine shrimp or some blood worms. Or I've even fed mine uh, freeze-dried blood worms. And within the week, they gave birth. Um, they just need a little extra protein. Make sure the temperature is around 74, 75 degrees. And... Um, you know, keep that water changed and they, they should be having babies for you pretty soon. <laughs> Mary Beth, I use cuddle bones and the super shell too for my snails. Yeah. And um, who was it? Kyle said, I think it was Kyle at Kyle's wild world. I think said to put the, um, the weekend feeders, you know, when you go on vacation, they're round and they have a lot of calcium in them. And if you need to, um, but, oh, but Gina wants to add it to her rapashi. So anyway, I don't see any problem with that, Gina. Just do it every once in a while. I'm going, I'm going to take a sample to the store tomorrow to test it since it's cleared up now. Great, Eric. Look, keep us posted and let us know um, what the results were. Gina says, thanks for the answers. Guys, you're welcome. Um, this is my fish channel, Ultimate Fish Planet. All right, Ultimate Fish Planet. <laughs> nice to have you with us. Oh, beautiful salt tanks. Baby Oscar fish in a 46-gallon. All right, Ultimate Fish Tank. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much for coming in and joining us. Everybody, show fish fam love to one another. Sub each other, you know, and uh, let everybody feel that fish fam love. Hashtag fish fam love. It's Susan's tanning light. <laughs> Chris, you're so crazy. Wow. Mary Beth said. Oh, laughing at. Uh, multi tank addiction. <laughs> New England, New England Endler. I just got a light on eBay two weeks ago. An Aquanet LED. 
it's um i like it 30 bucks free shipping awesome that's nice i hope you really enjoy it um all right let's see cecilia says okay i'm stopped now i can't donate until the first of the month gina i'm hoping you'll have what you need before then but i will donate on the first if you need it yeah it's not far we we might have we mightn't have gotten it by then cecilia but thank you ultimate fish planet says hashtag fish fam love i subbed you susan well thank you ultimate fish planet i believe i subbed you too but if not i'm going back to make sure i did i sure did i sure did <laughs> Oh, um, Eric says, I have one of my cichlids that always meets me at the front of the tank when I walk over. I was shocked when he or she started to do it. Yes, Eric, that is the personality of cichlids that most people brag about and makes them such interesting fish in the hobby. Um, Michael says, I just did a water change on Sunday, 30% reading. Saturday night on bloodworms and the brown shrimp live food. All right, just uh, just you know, if she's ready, she'll square off. You know, she gets a boxy tummy, and the uh, gravid spot is very dark, and sometimes you can even see the eyeballs just before they give birth. Freshwater fish freak. Hey Susan, when are you going to come up to Connecticut? Is that Buford talking again, Michael? <laughs> oh i don't know michael are you inviting me up gina says thank you cecilia um multi-tank says thanks cecilia sherry says ultimate she is one of a kind <laughs> sherry i hope we're all one of a kind <laughs> I'm not the kind that was so perfect that when God made me, he broke the mold. No, my husband says God broke the mold because he says, oh, no, I can't make another one like Susan. <laughs> oh, you all are something. Aquatic Express. Hello, Aquatic Express. How are you doing? Okay, I'm going to refresh everyone that... um. I'm going to go back over here and do my screen share. We are taking up money to help Gina out. And uh, Gina has um, dropped her phone in the water when making doing water changes. And, of course, we know phones and water don't mix. And some of us want to help her get a pay off her phone so she can get a new one. And so Chris Multi Tank Addictions has volunteered to set up to use his PayPal uh, PayPal Me account, and um, so we can make donations here. All you do is enter in the amount that you want to give. Ooh. We're trying to raise two hundred dollars so that. Um, she can pay it off and get her phone replaced. So that's what we're doing. And um, if you can, we ask you to give a dollar or two or five dollars or ten dollars. And let's get it uh, taken care of. Chris is donating fifty dollars and he said he needed 15 more people to do ten dollars each so if we can do ten dollars each it'll be taken care of here tonight we got 20 viewing um we're showing fish fam love helping other each other out um chris says he just moved yogurt into his tank he's just sitting there staring at me he's so cute can't wait till he grows up how how big is he now how many inches is uh yogurt Thank you, Chris. Ultimate Fish Planet. I'm just going to get a 220 salt water tank and a 60 gallon tank fresh water 
so I would have six tanks in total, and I will get more aquariums soon. Awesome ultimate fish planet, 220 is that gallon saltwater tank? My goodness, that's going to be a piece of the ocean for sure. Uh, Michael says, you're always welcome at my house. <laughs> Thank you. It was such a pleasure meeting you and your family. Mary Beth says, if you are the fish mom, I'll be the reclusive aunt. Mary Beth, well, Gina's an aunt too, and they're the, the more the merrier. <laughs> Mary Beth is now an aunt, an official fish fam aunt, like Gina is the fish fam aunt. Ultimate Fish Planet said hello to Michael. Triple Ten Tanks is in the house. Hey, Triple Ten. DH Aquatics, hello, Dusty. Happy belated birthday, Susan. Thank you, sweetheart. I appreciate that. He's, uh, Chris says the uh, flower horn is three inches. That is a cute little flower horn. Um, Aquatic Express, I'm doing great. Did you enjoy your birthday? Yes, I did. Thank you very much. You see the balloon behind me? That has turned. <laughs> and the little box of uh, baby bites, I ate them all up. I had a birthday bash on Saturday, so y'all can go check out the video if you want to. Y'all could see me eating my baby bites. Um, 220 gallon, I meant. Sorry. That's okay. I understood it. I read it that way. Uh, Cecilia says, I put out a video today. Okay, Cecilia, you got to check it out. Let's go see what Cecilia did. She put out a video today. Mm, I need to apologize and a quick update. Is that it? Three hours ago. Okay, we're going to do a screen share. Let's see what she's talking about. I have an apology to make, so please stay tuned. <laughs> Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great day. Well, I need to apologize to my subscribers and viewers. Um, at the end of December, I decided that I was going to try to put out at least one video a week. And I've been pretty out of pocket for the last three weeks. I had an abscess tooth, and the pain was just absolutely horrible. I did not feel like doing anything. So anybody that knows about tooth pain knows that it is just debilitating. So um, that kind of took me out a little bit. And then I was feverishly working on my 40-gallon breeder tank to come out to you sometime in a week or two. I'm just so, skipping anyway, ahead. This little tank right here is my pea pucker tank. You Look see my that. little pea pucker right there. I have two of them in here. They pal around together. They like each other. And I have some guppies in here. And I also have some quarries. They're all taking a nap right now. Assuming if you like my videos, thank you. Awesome. Thank you. That was awesome. And I do hope that that abscess is gone. <laughs> Surprise. Nice. Those are some beautiful guppies and pea puffers with guppies. Hmm. Hmm. Y'all got me thinking here. Did you get them really young? before you added them with the guppies or what? Hi, Patricia. Good to have you in the house tonight. No, you're not late. Well, got eight, eight to ten more minutes, okay? Welcome to the stream. Uh, oh, wow. Thank you guys for your supporting my channel. It means so much to me. That's right. 
we got to support one another, Ultimate Fish Planet. Um, thank you. Yes, it's gone. Wonderful, Cecilia. Access is, yeah, abscesses are awful. Yes, and dry sockets. Oh, my goodness. Um, Mayor Beth says, oh, good, Cecilia Hobbies. Well, I am so glad to have you all with me tonight. Uh, if there's not any more question and answer, I wanted to let everybody know that the light behind me is 30 inches long. So I'm looking for a 29 inch, um, a 29 gallon tall that will be my show tank here behind me. And after I get it, I am putting, uh, is it Seacombs Eco Complete? and substrate thank you chris we are supporting gina tucker to get her broken phone replaced he's putting in fifty dollars just need 15 people to do ten dollars each and the, click on the link and that's his uh paypal me account and believe me you can trust chris and chris will get the funds to gina so that she can replace her phone and get back to filming and creating on her youtube channel DH says, I realized tonight that keeping fish is a real addiction. I just got four more when I only was looking for one. <laughs> Dusty, what did you get? Hello, Patricia. I have no idea how old they are. They're not, they've not grown. There's more to that video. So check, go, go check it out. Yep. All right. We will, Cecilia. I only, I only showed a little bit uh, so that the people would, Go and look at it, and I'll have to finish watching it too. Um, well, I hope you have a lovely birthday, and just stopping by to say hi and hashtag fish fab love to all. See you guys. Thank you, Ultimate Fish Planet, and thank you for my birthday wish. Chris said to DH, the whole reason I made my account this name, Multi Tank Addiction. Multi tank addiction, multi fish addiction, multi YouTube channel addiction, multi video. <laughs> Pay, oh, don't forget my Patreon account now. In the description of the video, you should find my Patreon account. You could join and be a patron for a dollar a month, and you can stop whenever you want to, put it on pause. You can delete your card. You can do all kinds of changes. You're only billed at the beginning of the month, one time a month. And I do have patron only information content on there. And when I reach $100, I am going to start doing individual podcasts with my uh, patrons who want to participate. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Also, I have a PayPal me account link that is also in the description. And you can also support me by purchasing my merchandise, SLC Aquatics, t-shirts, hoodies, socks, and mugs at Teespring. And that link is also in the description. Um, you can find me on Facebook under Susan Core. You can find me in my Facebook group. Uh, Susan, is it Susan? For S no, it's SLC Aquatics. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat and Google Plus and LinkedIn. So I'm in multiple places. Um, by Ultimate Fish Planet. DH says, I adopted one goldfish. I rescued um, and the rescue talked me into three others. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm working on a pond. Now, Dusty, I remember you telling us how weak you were for goldfish and that's awesome i uh have been enjoying mine moving around more since it got warm the last couple days you're welcome cecilia love you very much um uh, the first sign to recovery is to admit the addiction <laughs> oh because michael says i'm not addicted i i can stop anytime i want to i just don't want to <laughs> Thanks, everyone on here who subscribed to me. All right, everyone, we are going to be closing it out. I thank you. Um, look forward to seeing.
Chris Gustin as my special guest next Tuesday night at 6 p.m. Central Time. And on the 27th, I'm hoping to have a special guest, Diego Vargas from Petsonics and Multiple Aquariums website. They, he's one of my sponsors. And um, I hope you all will uh, click and set the reminder on my uh, YouTube channel. You can go to those events and set the reminder. And you will be reminded, uh, think 30 minutes before I go live. And you will let, and it will also let you know when I am live. Um, dang, Susan, you are all over the internet. <laughs> I'm probably in more places than that, too. Um, Mary Beth, socks? Cool. That's an underrated item. Love some nice socks. Yes, Mary Beth. And my saying about my socks is it is guaranteed if you wear SLC Aquatic socks while you're doing water changes, you will feel like you have help. <laughs> that's that's my slogan for my socks. Also, um, oh, I was going to say something and I went blank. Um. I am still checking on aprons with my logo on it. They're not cheap. So I'm trying to make them affordable so that you can have your own fish room um, apron to wear when you're doing water changes or cleaning the aquarium. Everybody knows our shirts, our elbows. You end up wearing um, duckweed and, and guppy grass and everything all over your clothes. Most of us spill water. It's guaranteed you're going to get wet. Thank you, Dusty. I have a feeling being a member of the fish club will make the addiction worse. <laughs> yes, let's help each other out. We got several in here trying to reach 300. We got a couple that's trying to reach 100 subs. So check everybody out. Support one another. Sherry Sweeney says, great stream, Susan. Bye, everyone. Cecilia says, I won't be here next Tuesday. It's my birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Cecilia. Happy birthday to you and many more. Mm, that is my good night.